right then everyone. Although I went all the way round there, I haven't really come very far. There's just the trees that were been. I've been round that bit there. There's a coom there that I passed. Fortunately, at last, I found this sign. There was no sign up there whatsoever for me. No sign. Right? Fortunately, there was a gate. I seen that path by accident over there. Pure accident I seen it. <sighs> Poor lot three miles. <sighs> I don't have to go down there to Linmouth seven miles. My goodness. That's this is the path I would have come up, I think. If I'd had to have backtracked. Right, what I'm going to do now is just turn off for a minute because I've got to eat. At least the signs are appearing again. Blue's off on the sign. Then we got that hill over there with the pines on growing on the top. That was quite close to not long ago. And I climbed up the coombe there. Very, very steep, very, very hot weather. I had to have my hat on during that period. I now feel a bit more relaxed. I found the signs. I found a track. I don't know if it's the Coleridge way. It's not got the Coleridge feather. It's just described as a bridal way, but it's going back. It's going towards Porlock, and that's all that matters. It's a lovely day, everyone. Obviously, when you've got more than one of you, there's more people can, you know, put your heads together, as they said, say, and, uh, you know, share in the, in the decision-making and all that sort of thing. But I do like, still like being on my own as well. Um, I can't really explain it, why I like being on my own. There are times when I wish I was with others, though. It's like, especially when you meet a group and they're all pally and they're all together and they all feel very confident because they're together and I'm still trying to work stuff out sometimes and I just have to draw on my own strengths really for that um, I've got no one to ask although I do ask people um, I had to ask a boat on a tractor just just to verify for me that I was in the right place look at that, it's hanging from the tree there there's sheepies all around me, hello sheepies hello they probably get the old person like me coming along here. I mean, one thing I can say, there's no litter. There was one little bag which at least showed me the humans do come along here. You don't see much plastic. I'm sheltered a little bit from the wind by this is like a bridal path come drove. I've got no idea where I'm going though, still. All I know is that this way goes to Porlock. So it is, a, it is sort of a circular walk, but I don't know if it's the... I don't think it's the Coleridge Way yet. It's quite possible I'll link up with that a bit later on. But over there we got the Coombs. <coughs> Coombe there. And uh, <coughs> beautiful waterfalls down there. There's not necessarily anyone down there, see? Please shut the gate. They make them hard to open. Yeah. Hold on a minute. Just put that up there. Yeah. Put that up there. There's a stream running by this. There's a stream. And if you can see me, I'm here. Getting very hot. Not hot and bothered, just hot. Enjoying exploring and all the type of worry it can cause. I just, you know, sort of saying when you're with others. It's 
you know. Beautiful though, isn't it? I'm getting further away. Thing is, I'm packing in a lot into a few days and then I haven't really got time much to reflect and I don't even know if I'll ever come back. I might never, ever walk this track again. Um, something tells me I probably won't do the Colbo now I've got to my destination, although that was a terrible hill to climb up that last bit where those big lorry tractors were. God, dear. The actual coastal walk, which is right down there with all the trees and the, the sea and everything, absolutely magical and beautiful. Very, very steep in places, especially where they had to repair, damaged through erosion. And they've had to make people climb up higher to get away from the eroded, eroded parts. So uh, there were some very, very steep things to climb there. And uh, I mean, I'm still hoping to go, get back to Colburn, but up Bone, but I don't know if I will, because I don't really know where I am. So I don't know if I'll end up on that route at all. I was hoping to. I don't mind doing the, rip, the return trip on that bit, because... Um, oh, look because it's all downhill. More sheep. Very sheepy country, isn't it? So like I said, I was um, down the other side where, where there's no arable land. Down, down beyond there is where the, it's amazing. It's very steep, you know, very steep and big tall trees. Um, you, you think you're just gonna run off the edge there, but no, it's absolutely beautiful. The oak trees down there, and other trees. It was. I'm glad I done it, and I did achieve what I wanted to do. I did achieve it. I achieved a bit more. I went over. I went the extra mile, actually. Let's check our signs again. They need. They could do it. Doing up a bit. Oh look, Colbone. Yeah. Colbone, yeah, for sign. We're doing well, folks. We're doing well. I'm really enjoying this because this was the alternative route. I think coming this way. So. Uh, Oh, that breeze is so welcoming. That breeze. That is so welcoming. Now let's just hope that the signs don't disappear again. Because I have found when I come near like farmyard places, the signs sometimes disappear. So, you know, which is a worry because you've only got to take one wrong turn and you're, and you're lost and you you can always find where you are and take, or you go around in circles or you end up doing much more than you ever need to. This is a farm. I don't know which one. But we're going through it. Might tell us in a minute. And then once we know which farm this is, we can like pace ourselves with them. Um, where we're going, but that's the first sign to Coldbone. So that is very good. That is very good. There's a bit of tarmac under here, isn't it, one time? Right, over and out again. I'll take some photos now and then I'll come back on. Coldbone. Two and a quarter miles. I don't know if we go on, if we have to follow a road from now on or not. I've no idea. <sighs> That's a nice big farm, isn't it? Hey, look at that. 
Emblem Farm or something that's called. There might be styles yet to climb. Alright, over and out again.